Tell Me About It is brought to you by Extreme Health Club. For Ben Hayes here with KY Sports TV, James Brown with 104 The Score. We're on Glasgow Electric Plant Board Channel 6, the local channel on Tell Me About It. And we are joined today with Miss Dia Bradley, a senior from Hart County High School. Um, before we get into any conversations with Dia about the great career that she's had and the great season that she's having, could I get a public apology? For what? Saying for, that Tyreek Hill should be uh, the MVP? No, that, every, sorry, everybody that, that watched knew that that was crazy. <laughs> about about they probably knew I was joking about too. testing my football knowledge with the national championship game. Oh yeah, Michigan won. Right, Guess and what? you laughed at me. I did. I didn't. I didn't laugh. Yes, at you. you did. Me and Aaron talked about it before you got here. I didn't. I don't think I laughed at you. I just it's think so I, hard for you to admit that you're wrong sometimes. Oh, no. I, I really thought Washington was going to win the game because well, I thought Michael well, Penix Jr. was going to have a great game. Well. I mean, good for the Wolverines. They hadn't won anything in 30 years. Neither at Washington. I mean, they still haven't. <laughs> so. Well, can we agree that we're glad that the um, NCAA football championship's not in the SEC? That it goes somewhere else? Or are you – well, I forgot you're from Mississippi, so – Hey man, the best football's in the South. If you look well, at that Michigan, it was, but it wasn't this year. But it wasn't this year. <laughs> it was up north. Yeah, they're just the, most of the players from the South. But anyway, go ahead. We got Dia Bradley here today. Why don't we Dia talk Bradley, about it for a little yes. bit? Yes. <laughs> Dia, you have um, accomplished some things this year that most people at Hart County never thought would happen. Uh, you sur you surpassed Tick Rogers' all-time scoring record. How did that make you feel this year? Well, I've been telling him for about five years I was going to pass him before I was even close. So I was really happy, and all my teammates were really happy for me, which makes me even happier. So I feel pretty great. Well, that's good. We know you're a little nervous. Um, it's okay. I've been watching Dia since she was probably three or four, being the gym um, with her older sister and um, Jordan bouncing the basketball around, and um, she always had on a jersey just about every every game she came to. Um, am, I, am I correct? Yeah. <laughs> and you had your socks pulled up or you had tights on and you had your high tops on. And um, Dia's dad and I are, are pretty good friends. And um, I've told Paul from the beginning that, that he had two outstanding young kids um, and they were both um, really good athletes and I remember I think you were maybe in the seventh grade and you guys were playing at Caverna in a varsity game and some things didn't go your way and you was a little upset and you came down <laughs> and hit the hit the chairs when you came off the floor and um, I could tell that Paul wasn't happy with that um, but after the game I remember telling Paul that if if more kids had that fire in them, um, that that there'd probably be some better athletes running around in this part of the uh, state, um, and that was just competitiveness. You know, a lot of people mistake that as being, you know, a um, bad athlete having a bad attitude. But you could see the competitiveness that you had then, and I, you know, I, I've watched it carry on, you know, up until now your senior year. Um, not only the scoring record, but you've also accomplished some other things. Um, I think I, I don't. I think Leslie Lawson was a candidate for Miss Basketball um, her senior year at Hart County. Um, is that something that you've got your sights on? Yes, it definitely is. I would love to be Miss Basketball this year. Um, would definitely be the only one of the only um, schools in the area that that would have a boys and a girls Miss ba Mister and Miss Basketball. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know everybody talks about your size. Um, ha uh, Haven Ford proved that wrong last year when she won Miss Basketball. Mm -hmm. um, she's not very much bigger than you, I don't think. No. So ha have you and Haven? I know you you guys know each other. Have Have you actually played against each other? Yes, we have. Um, we've been to camps together, and we've been opposite teams playing each other, but we haven't played each other in high school. Who got the best of each other at camp? You can be honest. <laughs> 
I don't know. I think I did. I think Whoa. I did. It was like I'd come down and score, and then she'd come down and pull a three from half court. So it was back and forth the whole time. Okay. So wait, uh, going back to the game and when you were in the seventh grade, what did your dad say to you afterward? Um, probably to keep my composure. He says that all the time when I'm upset. So. <laughs> Is that, is that, do you think that's one of the keys, like as you've continued to play, uh, not letting those moments that don't go your way get to you, especially yes. during the course of a game? Yes, I think it definitely has, because not giving up, honestly. I get frustrated easy, so. <laughs> <laughs> so did you, um, you set the single game scoring record this year? You had 54 yes, in a game? Yes, yes. Now what was going through your mind during the course of that game as you were scoring points? Not to miss, honestly. I was scared. <laughs> not to miss. I, I knew I was close, so I was just nervous that I'd not get it because there's not much time left. So, so was that like a something going into the game that that you thought you wanted to try to accomplish, or yes, yes, it was. So, what what about that game was the one that you said, all right, this is one where I could score a lot of points. I mean, because I think you score outscored the other team by yourself. Yeah, I knew the team and I knew how they played, so. It was kind of an advantage for me. I knew I'd score a lot that game. They were just going to give you the shot. You knew that you were going to have the shots that you like to take? Yeah. This year you have, um, so far in your career, you have 2,763 points. You scored 384 so far this year. 29 and a half a game um, from your two point is 56.5%. Three-point line is 44.1%. Um, 76% from the free throw line, Dia? <laughs> as much as you get to the line, you could probably be averaging about 36. Yeah, I'm having a rough free throw line. <laughs> you have, you have, you, you're struggling from the charity strike. <laughs> and you're averaging five rebounds a game, and right now you're currently ranked number two in the state in scoring. So um, you guys are sitting second in the district is that right okay um so you know with barring no injuries or anything crazy happening you'll you'll get to advance to the region um what are some goals that you have for your you know we've talked about your individual goals what are some goals that you have for your team for the rest of the season well obviously we're our chances are very high of going to region and i'd like to not just play one game in region i'd like to go pretty far this year and this is a year that we have a chance to do that. So I think the boys and the girls, both fifth region, is wide open as far as the region the region yeah. goes. Well, especially with depending on when Leah Macy comes back at Bethlehem or what what her situation is there. She's back now. Is she? Yeah. Because I would say they were probably the favorites once she transferred there yeah. uh, during the summer, but uh, but when she was out, they obviously struggled a bit. Uh, yep. versus expectations. When you when you look around the region, I mean, what are some other teams that you think are a real challenge for you guys? I think Taylor County is a good team. And is the Bale girl back? Uh, yeah, for Taylor, yeah, Gracie I think Bale? So. Okay. And E Town, they've been looking pretty good. I don't think they've lost. E Town a had a eighth grader yeah. to hit nine three pointers night before last Courtney I can't I can't think of her last name but um pretty solid little eighth grader yeah very very young team but they're still pretty solid well I guess in your district Green County's the the challenge for you guys is that right yes what what makes them so challenging for you guys honestly I think the game that we played them we were just against ourselves. So I don't think it had anything to do with their defense. I think we were just playing ourselves out there. So I don't know. I'm not too nervous about the second time we play them. When is that coming up? Um, February. Okay. Yeah, and they, they took a pretty tough loss. Uh, I think it was last week against Metcalf County. Yes. <clears throat> which was, I think, it was surprising to me. I mean, is that one that surprised you when you saw the score A that little game? bit, yes, because Metcalf's been struggling a little bit recently, so. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk some AAU with Dia and, and some of her experiences of playing on a national level um, on, you know, a nationally ranked team. So we'll, we'll be back in just a few. Extreme Fitness has doubled in size. 
Now, with over 8,000 square feet of co-ed weights and an upgraded 90-degree sailing therapy pool, the Extreme Fitness Campus also holds the exclusive Extreme Fitness for Women Complex and Extreme Blend Smoothie Bar. You have to experience the variety of classes to realize the impact they have on their clients. Personal training is with the best in the business and is available and tailored to fit individuals. So start your journey today at Extreme Fitness and Health Club. Welcome back to Tell Me About It. This is James Brown, 104thescore.com, and I'm here with your friend Hayes, KY, KY Sports. KY? KY You were going to say whack. <laughs> so, now, so now we're whack. No, man, I just misspoke. <laughs> I make mistakes. Anyway, more importantly, we have Dia Bradley with us, uh, the all-time basketball leading scorer at Hart County High School. I mean, nobody cares about us. And that's boys and, boys and girls. Boys and girls. That's everybody. You, you, so you told Tick Rogers five years ago you were coming for his, his record? I did. What made you uh, decide that you needed to tell him that? Uh, I don't know. I just decided to let him know. <laughs> I didn't you, know what he was in for. And you know, that's, that, that's surprising <laughs> because Dia usually never talk. Well, see, <clears throat> I'm, as, we're, as we're having this discussion, that's exactly kind of what I'm thinking. So you were like in the eighth grade and you said... Seventh. Seventh, seventh grade, grade. Yes. So you said Mr. Hart County basketball, the most... Uh, known, recognized basketball. Decorated player. Decorated player in the history of Hart County basketball. I'm coming for your number. I did. And his response was? I don't, I don't know. I don't actually remember. I feel like he didn't believe me. <laughs> well, I mean, you I, made a believer out of it, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> and you know, I played against Tick. Yeah. And I'm telling you, absolutely a monster. Mm -hmm. A monster, monster. And to... to Overcome, you know, everybody, like I said, your size, everybody's saying your size. And if you couldn't shoot from the outside, you know, you couldn't score in the big games. That's a, that's a big, um, that's a big hurdle. Um, a really big hurdle. Well, I mean, Trevent mentioned that, like, you were showing up in the gym when you were uh, just a wee child with the uh, jerseys on and all that. Yeah. Why was basketball the thing that you just loved that much that you knew this is what you were going to do? Well, mostly my dad. He knew that he wanted us to play either way. Mm -hmm. But I've always been surrounded by basketball, and it's something I love to watch and play. So, When then you played soccer, run track, yeah. do you do the other sports just to take a break? Yes, honestly, and stay in shape throughout the year. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, even though basketball was a thing, I mean, it's not so obsessive that you, I mean, obviously you practice quite a bit, but you do find uh, some benefit of doing other things. Yeah. Uh, did you, do you, did you enjoy playing soccer? I love soccer. Yeah. Really? Was it, was it just, uh, I mean, it's kind of like basketball. You get to run a lot. Yeah. And you got the ball on your feet instead of your hands. Uh, but is there some parallels there with uh, playing basketball that you found helped your basketball game? Yeah, um, it's basically, soccer is basically running the whole time, so I felt like that kept me in shape really well going into basketball season because it was right after, so I think that helped me a lot every year. Mm -hmm. Trevin, you got some more questions? I was just letting you take off. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I've been talking. You told me sometimes I talk too much, so I've I was never just, told you, you, you that. You have. No, I have not. You have. You can talk all you want, man. It's great. Well, I just wanted you to get your, your part in. I'm, I'm good. I ask questions, you talk. AAU. <laughs> um, we've had a lot of discussions on the importance of AAU, but also how AAU has ruined some, some high school players. How do you feel that AAU has molded you into the player that you, that you are? I think that AAU is a completely different competition, and playing on AAU helped me, like, because high school basketball seems a lot easier when you're playing against people that are 6'10 in AAU and a lot faster. So I think that helped me a lot. And you you ended up your, you played with Premier, correct? Yes. Um, and I think that at, at one time, you and the little girl from, um, sorry, not little girl, young lady, uh, from Greenwood, um, the Murphy girl, yeah. Katie Murphy, you all were on the same stars team. Yes. Um, did you guys ever win the Nationals? No, we got runner-up, actually. Runner up. Yes. So how, how was the competition level going from the Stars to Premier? It was a lot different, actually, which 
I played when I was younger at Stars, and when I got a little older, I started going to Premier. But I mean, we were in a different like league or whatever, so it was a lot different. It was a lot bigger people there and faster. <coughs> <coughs> I had, a, I had a cough break there, Joe. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> now in boys, I, you know, with girls, I mean, I've I've been around a lot of girls AAU, but with with on the guys level, um, you know, there are so many other opportunities to where a lot of these guys go straight from AAU and they don't return to a high school team. They go to play for club teams. Are those same opportunities available for girls? Well, I don't really know. I've never really thought about that. But I'm sure someone's probably done that. I think it opens up a lot of transfers because when you play with people like around like different areas, I feel like they want to play with them at their high schools and they transfer over there a lot. Were you ever uh, pressured or anybody ever say, hey, why don't you come play with us at this high school? Yes, <coughs> yes. a lot of times. Did, what made you decide that wasn't a thing for you, though? I don't know, I've just always been at Hart County. I don't really see a reason to leave now, so feel pretty content here. <laughs> uh, I wonder if your coach ever got nervous that somebody was going to try to reel you away. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, coach, coach Lindsay was, um, she was a, she was a pretty good basketball player too. She yeah. played in the same era as, um, Megan Isaacs, I think. Um, Patrika, that y'all were in that same. I think Patrika may have been a few years older than her, but um, well, as a matter of fact, whenever I was at the Hart County Glasgow game, I texted, texted John Butler to ask a, about her because I remembered her from high school, but I was not 100% certain if I knew who she was. And he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, she played Hart County during this time because he knows everybody. He yeah, coaches everybody. all of them." So I was like, "Yeah, okay, I, I thought so. I thought I recognized her, but it's been a few years since I've seen her." So you're going to finish your season this year, and then you're going to go and, and be a Lady Tiger at Campbellsville, correct? Yes. Um, how hard was it making the decision on where that, that you wanted to commit to? It was very difficult because I liked all the schools I went to, but it was more about where I'd feel more comfortable at. So it was really hard deciding. And, I, I, you know, the, the there's been several girls um, – from this area that's had a lot of success at Campbellsville. Mm -hmm. um, I know Lindsey Bird, who was also a lady Raider, had, a, I think she was a national player of the year one year. Uh, Madison Faulkner was two-time national player of the year. Mm -hmm. um, so I think Coach Colvin um, will definitely give you, you know, the opportunity to showcase your talent. And um, I'm sure you're gonna help, help them win quite a few games once you get to Campbellsville. Yeah. It's, uh, there are quite a few players on that team that have been and still are that are from this area. Did that also influence you? I mean, because I'm sure you know who many of these yes. players are. Yeah, I know a lot of the people on the team. I've played against them, and I've been around them in stars and stuff like that, so I'm pretty comfortable around them. Yeah. I guess some of the other schools you visited, there weren't as many people that you knew they were? No, not, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is that part of what that comfort was? Is yes. you walked in there, I guess, on your visit, and you're like, oh, I know you, and they knew you, yes. and, and it just kind of felt like another hometown yes. kind of situation? Yeah. <clears throat> I know Jordan has a bum knee. Uh, he has for a while. But a healthy Jordan, who wins one-on-one, -on -one, you or Jordan? Me. Every time. Every time? Every time. <laughs> Will he agree with that? No. He won't? <laughs> he lies. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to watch this, and I'm sure he'll have his um, his his own side of the story. But yeah, he'll probably um, go outside and make me play him as soon as he sees it. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you who do you give who do you um, credit for your love of basketball? Definitely my dad. He made me be around it more than anyone else. So I'd definitely say him. All right. Anything else, James? No, no, I'm good. Well, we're going to take another quick break, and when we come back, we'll wrap it up for this week and get uh, the second round of the district games will start. Well, for some of them, it's the it's first already, one they're playing, and some of them have already played too. So, like Glasgow and Barron play on Friday. It's the first time they played each other. Gotcha. But Barron's already played Warnies twice. Gotcha. 
And we'll, we'll uh, talk about some of these uh, college games before we leave. All right, sounds good. Quick break and we'll be right back. Extreme Fitness has doubled in size. Now with over 8,000 square feet of co-ed weights and an upgraded 90 degree sailing therapy pool. The Extreme Fitness Campus also holds the exclusive Extreme Fitness for Women Complex and Extreme Blend Smoothie Bar. You have to experience the variety of classes to realize the impact they have on their clients. Personal training is with the best in the business and is available and tailored to fit individuals. So start your journey today at Extreme Fitness and Health Club. We're back. Yep. Again. One more time. And we keep coming back. Yes. They keep inviting us, so I guess we need to show up. Uh, so They invite you? You invite me, so then I show up. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> I just like having you around sometimes. I appreciate that. It's a good thing. Some, sometimes people like having me around. Sometimes they don't. It's just the way it this works. That's the way it is. Yeah, that's the way it is. We're glad you're here, Dia. Uh... Here's a loaded question for Dia. So who's going to win the 18th District Girls? Hargan. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> what, too loaded, wasn't Dia? Oh, easy. Did, easy. Easy peasy. Well, of course. I mean, I figured she would answer it that way. Sometimes who's going to win the 18th District Boys? It's a little harder. It's a little harder. <laughs> Depends who comes to play, honestly. Okay. And you're a guest picker, so you don't have to say Hart County just because that's where you go to school. Um, Although your classmates will let you know if you don't. <laughs> I don't know. I think a lot of the a lot of her classmates are afraid of her. Oh, okay. Probably. Do, do you say so? <laughs> yeah. They're probably scared to do That's a good answer. <laughs> I enjoyed seeing all the pictures <clears throat> of everybody taking pictures with the actor. They recognized you. That was that was really nice. Uh, so who's going to win the 15th district girls? Barron County. Maybe not. Warren East beat them last Barron Friday. County. Yeah, I forgot Warren East is in that district. They, I mean, they've come from, I mean, they were terrible last year, to be honest, and suddenly they're pretty good. Yeah. They're probably the second or third best team in the region right now in the fourth region. You watch Waterboy? Did I watch Mud it? Dogs. I said the Lady Trojans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Lady Trojans will win. <laughs> Boys, Barron County. Yeah, they Barron can, County's going to sweep the 15th district. Uh, they look clearly the best at the moment. Um, and then, of course, Friday night, we'll have a big game, uh, boys and girls. I say big. Right now, I'd say Barron's favored to win both the boys and girls on Friday night with Glasgow. Uh, I thought the Lady Scotties were turning the corner, and they went over to Butler County on Monday night and just did not play well, to be honest. Uh, I think they were working on some things. For the game coming up against Barron on Friday, but it, they weren't working. So I'm not speaking sure. of Butler County, Ty Price is the real deal. Yeah, he's pretty good. They killed Greenwood on Tuesday. He's night. good. Yeah. Do you know who Ty Price is? I've definitely heard that name. I didn't know he was ranked that high in the ESPN rankings. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty he's, pretty high. Yeah, he's standing out. Uh, he's a scorer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they are good. They they have a good team. He's definitely good. I was surprised they beat Greenwood as soundly as they did because I thought Greenwood was kind of getting better as the season went along, and they have been, but they, they really took one on the chin there. Uh, and then, you know, the Barron County-Glasgow boys game is interesting because the better the team is Glasgow plays against, the better they play. I watched that. I mean, I, like I said, I didn't think that Hart would have any trouble with, with Glasgow. Glasgow, but... I mean, look, they've beaten Adair and Hart, two teams that are leading their districts, and Adair is one of the best teams in the fifth region. And I'm not sure. And then they come <coughs> back and they play a team like Ohio County, and they lost by two, but they were they really should have been in control of the game, but then they had some mental mistakes and uh, a technical foul that gave Hart County some free points, and then that was it. Glasgow could not come back and win it. So they just got to – I'm not sure. They just have these moments. Wow. Ohio County? Is that a, you started out talking about Ohio County, and then you went to... No, no, that's who they lost to on Saturday. They beat Hart, then turned around and lost to Ohio right, County. Right, but you was talking about the technical foul, and they never could come back, but they beat Hart. 
I'm talking about the Ohio County. Okay. Game. Well, I'm just you. You had me confused, Jay. I'm sorry. I talked. You just went. You 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 just went. You was everywhere. Was I? Yes, you were everywhere. We was everywhere. What he did. I think he did fine. <laughs> there you go. Maybe you just stopped paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> So we've learned she just Hey, can true. we block out the two, the right and left camera, and just focus on the center? I, I like Dia. We've learned that she speaks truth. Wow. <laughs> well, I'd say other people that's here in the studio that was shaking their head uh, with me, I'd say that um, they were on my side because you was kind of everywhere. Was I? Okay. Yes, you that's were. Part. And you know I get confused easy anyway. <laughs> You said you were sick to start with. So I, I, I haven't I, been feeling I, the best. We're going to blame it on, on a little bit of head fog. The cloudiness, and yes. And I talk real fast sometimes. You do, so that's, to, that's be from, to be from Mississippi. Man, people in Mississippi talk fast. That's a, I know. That's a misnomer. So you just that. tried to speed it up to, to solidify <laughs> your being from Mississippi. I no, caught I'm, that. Huh? I did. I caught that. Did you catch that, Dan? I did. Okay, <laughs> now here we go. It's just, you, the, <laughs> it's just the Mississippi came out in me. I couldn't okay. stop it. Okay. It just happens sometimes. Um, what about some college action? Is there anything going on? Actually, WKU Hilltoppers, big win Saturday against Liberty. You know, I'm, 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 I think I'm going to roll with the Hilltoppers the rest of the year. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. <laughs> We're awful. <laughs> awful. Not awful. me. I'm, I don't, We're I'm down not. to seven scholarship players. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on in Louisville. I, I don't. I don't know what's going on. Well, you know, I mean, he's he's trying to clean off the roster so he can get plenty of good pickups in the offseason. Well, who are you going to finish the season with? I, who, who are you going to have? The water boy. His son's playing. I didn't even know he had a son. <laughs> Promise I didn't. I said, who's the pain kid? He said, oh, he's a grad transfer from UK. <laughs> what? And, he, and he's terrible. <laughs> We're, this is, it's, 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 um, I'd say that's part of my sickness too. I watched the game night before the other night against Pitt. Mm -hmm. It's bad, it's bad basketball. It, it's terrible basketball. I've not. You uh, remember when Bobby Knight opened up the team to anybody? Where was he at? Texas, uh, Texas Tech. Texas Tech. Yes, yes. And he had, had open tryouts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think we should do that. Might as well. I mean, there are dudes hanging out in that, hanging out in the whatever the gym's name is at Louisville, who probably could come and play. We're terrible. It's just that they may not be. And losing JJ Trainer for the rest of the year didn't help. No. Um, I mean, we've lost. I don't. I don't it, it's it's bad. It's bad. Reed Shepard's having a good year. Yeah. Uh, Calipari has accidentally uh, saved himself and his program by way of people just wanting to come to Kentucky who are from Kentucky. And if you look at the best runs that he's had, he's had players from Kentucky on yeah. the team that play. I mean, I mean, you look, I mean, he had Darius Miller. Darius Miller. I mean, people don't realize he may have been the most important player on the team because he was the most player. experienced. Yeah. I mean, everybody, all those. We, and we don't need the, the peanut gallery in the back has not been uh, participating in the show, the whole show. But once we start talking about UK basketball, all his heads are not. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we. we he's, he's, he's that back pew Baptist yeah, yelling, he, amen. He's saying, hey, man. Yeah, he's back there in the back. Yeah. Um, Can I get a witness? That's what he's saying. Yeah. Back there. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I tell you what, we're gonna to try to get Cat Williams on next week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we get Cat Williams on and and talk about some of the local things that's going on and let him expose some things and <laughs> our ratings may go to the ceiling. Yeah, from from zero to one. Did you watch one. any? Did you see any of his interviews? No. Are you serious? Did yeah. you, Dia? No, I haven't watched. How do you? I got things to do. Man. I know the producer has. <laughs> <laughs> I got things to do in life. You're missing life if you didn't watch the Cat Williams interviews. No, I go and do things. That's like what? I don't know. Go to basketball games, meetings, do this show with you. This is a privilege. Don't you ever forget that. I know it is. You I'm sitting next to me once a week discussing <laughs> sports is a privilege, James. I, I appreciate that. It's no problem. Had to go I just to a don't want, meeting. I just don't want you to forget it, okay? Yeah, I don't forget it. All right. I mean, I went to a rotary meeting where the congressman... Right, Brett Guthrie's there. This is more important than that. That's right. Yeah, see, I know my place. I'm glad you do. 
I'm glad you. I'm glad you did. <laughs> what are you insinuating? <clears throat> I wasn't you insinuating anything? nothing, James. <laughs> I was not going anywhere with that. All right. Um, <clears throat> we're probably done. Don't you we think? are. Yeah. Okay. You can get us out of here. D, you want to get us out of here? No, I think he's good. No, you get it. You're gonna be. It, hey, look. If you're gonna be Miss Basketball, there's gonna be more cameras than this in front of you. Close us out, dear. What do you want me to say? Huh? What do you want me to say? Thanks for having me on the show. This has been Tell Me About It. Okay. Thanks for having me on the show. This has been Tell Me About It. With James Brown and Trevin Hayes. We'll see you next week.